oh wow this is an exciting day no not not because of the combine behind me and i'm getting ready to go to work i'm going to start shelling some corn i guess that could be exciting no this is an exciting day because of what i'm holding that you cannot see i am breaking in a virgin today uh a new camera hold on let me see if i can show you this new camera here uh, okay i will switch to my phone and here you go a gopro 10 black look at that it's got a screen on both sides isn't that cool it's got this cool accessory on it let me set it down here this is a tripod this is hard to do with one hand there a tripod and then this camera will raise up as well so there you go that is pretty cool so that that came with it it came with a, an extra battery this is a 5k camera so i'm not going to look as sexy um as i really am in person because it's going to show every blemish every pimple uh every mark on me i guess uh so yeah i'm quite excited uh my daughter and i went to denver last week for the uh hardware show and when i got back um in the mail was this box and opened it up and i had this great gopro camera that a friend sent to me i had helped him uh do some stuff and i didn't expect any payment for it and uh as payment he gave me a new gopro he knew i had lost my other one and my daughter had just made the comment while we were in Denver, Dad, your, uh, your videos lately that you've been posting, uh, they just, they don't have the quality to them. I was using my old, uh, my old GoPro, my initial one. I just hadn't made the commitment to replace one yet. Well, here we go. Uh, I've got a new one. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, using this. Uh, all of my accessories will fit on this uh, camera. It's... Um, it has two little tabs on the bottom. Well, you saw it in the video. Two little tabs on the bottom that flip down and then you can connect it to all the other accessories that you have. So uh, yeah, I'm quite excited to uh, see how the quality of this is going to look, uh, the editing. Um, yeah, this, this is gonna be great. Okay, uh, so finally, after I was on vacation for 10 days. Normally, you can take a vacation the first week of September. It doesn't hurt anything. Well, this year the corn dried up quicker than normal, so the corn was getting, um, getting ready. 10 days, the first week of September, the first 10 days of September on vacation, came back for three days, and then four days in Denver uh, for the hardware show. So here it is, uh, what is today? Uh, well, that watch is not going to tell me. It is September something, September 20th. So this is the normal time we would be shelling corn, but all the neighbors around, they have been shelling corn um, probably for two weeks. So I'll get in the field. It's, I'm late doing everything, it seems like. So let's get in the field, see what this moisture is going to be. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be dry, but we'll see. Uh, let's cross our fingers for a good harvest. Corn harvest, I think, will be decent, but soybeans, uh, no. We have, we've only had, well, we did have two inches of rain, was it last week? But it was too late to help the early soybeans. Maybe the late soybeans, it will help. But these early soybeans, they're done small beans there's not beans in every pod it was unfortunate because they were really looking good but oh well at least i have a new camera to be excited about all right let's uh, get started here okay here we go
to step out of the combine now and check all the adjustments on it uh, make sure everything is looking good but uh, looks like a fairly clean sample in the tank there so I just need to make sure it's getting it all off the cob and just check everything out so I'll be back all right is so you see it's not the greatest gear size dry weather hurt it yeah we could have some more length uh, to it but that's what she said uh, and this one's even even smaller Yeah, we've got a decent stand, but it's just we don't have the ear length to it. I'm guessing maybe 120 bushel corn. Um, I don't know. I have not come out and done any counts or kernel, any uh, ear counts or kernel counts to, to get an estimate on this. As you can see, uh, no corn, no corn on the cob, so that's a good sign. is about 17 17 and a half I thought it was a little bit drier than that but this is on the end I think once I get in the field it will be a somewhat drier uh, you're not going to get much uh, footage from this today because I need to get a larger SD card my large SD card was in the camera that I lost so I think I've only got like a 15 or 20 minute card in this camera I've cut the quality back a little bit just to get a little bit more footage but I'm already down to uh, like less than less than 10 minutes of footage to go uh, so I'm not quite sure how much you're gonna get of this today but uh, let's keep on trucking or let's keep on shelling
sucking up all the moisture. And so the corn just doesn't grow well under this walnut tree. next to the trees uh, where the water kind of lays in that part of the field so that caused that corn to be a little bit greener but of course it's next to the tree so uh, it gets a lot of shade and a lot of deer pressure so it's still uh, not turning out that great Okay, before this camera shuts off, uh, I'm going to say, see ya! Looks like I may have to uh, make a, one more little adjustment. I'm getting a little bit of trash uh, in here. <laughs> 